I don't know. Have I asked this before? Hmm, I don't think I... Marathon, marathon, racing shoes, early 2020. There's the collection right there. We're gonna break these down for all of you. Keeping a note, this is not, uh, I, I specifically said early 2020 because not all of the shoes for the marathon racing season in 2020 are available yet on the marketplace. Just wanna make that real clear up front. Here we go, DGR virtual races going down this weekend. In fact, I'm racing tomorrow, Sunday, but some people race today. Congrats if you already did your race and it's, it's happening. Okay, last I checked, whoa, 2,500 plus racers around the world. At, at some point, I will get you stats on how many countries are racing around the world. It's absolutely unbelievable. And I gotta say right now, the reason I'm not doing any outside filming outside the studio uh, today is because I don't know how you could be like a great uh, athlete or runner and be a great race director. It's it's a lot of work to be, a, and I know this is a virtual race. Uh, this is not an in-person race. I cannot even imagine. Uh, shout out again to all the race directors out there. I can't imagine putting on a, a race in person. Like It's been a lot of work. So this morning I spent three to four hours emailing everyone that's registered and then replying to as many as possible. Bottom line, uh, this is my first time doing this, but I think it's gonna be an amazing weekend. Oh yeah, glad I just remembered. Uh, Post-race party, 2 p.m. Mountain time, that's my time. 2 p.m. Mountain time here in the studio. I'm gonna be cracking open my first beer since uh, January. I get, you know, I gave up beer for this uh, training block, so I cannot wait to cheers to all of you for putting in the work and, uh, being uh, and persevering, that's the word of the day, persevering through the coronavirus, through COVID-19, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you for inspiring me to keep going because it did cross my mind to throw in the towel, as I've said before, uh, after the Hamburg Marathon was canceled. Like it, it crossed my mind, okay, for about 30 seconds. And then I was like, you know what, no way. DGR strong, we're gonna get through this together. And so it's finally here, race weekend. Oh, and one last point, Demore, hashtag Demore Global Running. Take pictures, take videos, share on Twitter, share on Instagram, wherever you want. Hashtag Demore Global Running. Let us know how your race went. Strava, of course. So it's going to be epic. And don't forget to submit your race results to this email, okay? Submit your race results to this email. All the information on how to do that is listed below. Now, for the next uh, five shoes, I have tested. So, of course, uh, they're going to be listed in cards that pop out of the upper right hand corner if you're interested in any of these shoes. Sorry, actually, I just remembered. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad, but hey, it's, it's in here, so here we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Uh, first, the ASICS Meta Racer, the ASICS Meta Racer. Now, I will just put a big caveat. These six shoes, um, I'm going to say right now, you absolutely could race uh, in a marathon in these six, six shoes. Now, if you watch the first impressions of these shoes, you know that for some of them, I'm actually not going to personally race in them for the marathon. I would rather use them for a half marathon, all right? Just want to make that clear. Like, I think there are a few of them that are better options for the half over the full, okay? For example, the ASICS Meta Racer is one of those shoes at $200 available, I believe June 26th, okay? So there you go. I like the shoe a lot, but maybe not quite enough stack height for me personally for the marathon distance. I think it's got a ton of potential though. Yes, there is a carbon fiber plate in there, uh, and it's it's a as it's a bottom loaded carbon fiber plate just so you know okay and there it is up on the shelf two hundred dollars Asics Meta Racer now yeah I'm gonna put it into the mix uh, uh, here we go the Adidas Boston Nine now again if you watch my first impression I said that you know what probably more for a half marathon distance for me again it comes down to that stack height it's a little heavy for a racing shoe just a smidge just a smidge but here's the deal uh if you don't want to spend 275 dollars you can pick up right now right now the adidas boston 9 for 
$90. That's what I'm talking about. $90 and absolutely you could race a marathon in this shoe. It's not a carbon fiber plate shoe, just so you know. But if you are a new runner, you're just discovering uh, marathon racing or half marathon racing and you don't want to drop a ton of money, Oh, right there. Absolutely. Adidas Boston 9. And by the end, of course, upper right hand corner, if you want to see my first impressions of this shoe. Moving on to the Skechers Speed Elite Hyper. All right. Again, I know, I know. I would probably lean in the direction of half marathon for this shoe. It is a carbon fiber plate shoe. It's coming in at $180. Okay. $180. Um, but it is the high high end of the Skechers lineup, absolutely, and especially for their racing lineup. Uh, I don't know though, for me, again, that stack height, if I would take it to the marathon distance, but I, d I do remember saying in the first impression video uh, that if you feel like your legs are resilient and you are strong and you feel like you, um, you don't need a ton of help, from a running shoe to get through 26.2 miles, I would really, really consider this shoe as an option. I really would. But um, if you think you need a little extra support, uh, sorry, not uh, a little extra cushion to get through 26.2 miles on the pavement, then maybe this is not the shoe for you. Again, upper right hand corner for my first impressions of the Skechers Speed Elite Hyper. And yes, I almost forgot, I feel bad. Okay, six shoes, six shoes. Now this is a 2019 throwback. Here we go, the Hoka Carbon X. Still $180, okay, uh, but absolutely a marathon racing shoe. Carbon fiber plate inside there. Um, was it Jim Walmsley that, was it the 50 miles or 50K? I think it was 50 miles that he set the world record in this shoe. So this shoe can absolutely go the distance. Um, it's got that rocker feel. Absolutely. It's a, it's a classic Hoka shoe, $180. I enjoyed this shoe a lot for my long runs in 2019. I never was able to race in it. Okay. But, um, again, as, okay. I will say this. If you feel like you strike your heel a little more than midfoot or forefoot, I would go with the Carbon X right here, okay? I think this is a great option because of that rocker feel, um, especially if you strike your heel through your foot strike, all right? There you go, Carbon X. We'll put it back on the shelf right over there. Moving on, and yes, $180. Did I mention that? Next is the Nike Next Percent, my shoe of choice for the New York City Marathon. Love that green. Love that green, everybody. A hundred and uh, sorry, two hundred and fifty dollars still. Again, a two thousand nineteen throwback shoe. Um, I've been doing some workouts in this shoe recently, and I love it. Over time, I've come to love. Sorry, not love. I've come to understand better the vapor weave upper it was a little strange at first but now after tying the shoe so many times i finally feel like i have a nice lockdown through that vapor weave upper and again 250 dollars. so we're starting to get up there in price a little bit nike uh in fact a lot nike but um i have a feeling nike's still gonna sell a lot of these nike did I call it the next percent? Yes, I did, right? The Nike next percent uh, in 2020, okay? There you go, and there it is over on the shelf as well. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, DGR virtual race, uh, what shoe am I gonna race in? So here's the deal. I don't know when I'm gonna race another marathon. None of us do because of the coronavirus. We are all like Boston, London, Berlin, Chicago, New York, all in the fall. It's all it's all going down in the fall, hopefully, right? That is our goal, is to be racing road marathons in the fall. So that might be, in fact, I'm just gonna say it now, I think that will be the next chance I have to take the Nike Alpha Fly next percent to a, at a fast pace at the marathon distance, okay? Therefore, on Sunday, I will be taking out the Nike uh, Alpha Fly next percent out for my DGR virtual marathon because I am going to do, all right, the full review of this shoe, I think next Wednesday or Thursday. Because I'm doing the DGR virtual race, that'll push me over 50 miles in the Alpha Fly next percent. Can't wait to get you my full review. And that is why I will be taking this shoe out also. 
I'm just going to say it's a fast, fast shoe, but you're looking at uh, taking out a second mortgage if you pick up this shoe, $275. A lot of people are asking me, when will this shoe be released? My prediction is I haven't, I haven't seen any confirmed date yet. I believe uh, if I find it, I'll put it on the screen right now. My prediction is early July. All right. And again, hopefully people are gearing up for their uh, fall marathon racing season in early July. Sound good? So I, those are the options for you that I have reviewed and tested for early season marathon racing shoe options. All right. A lot of good options out there. I am still intrigued, still intrigued, not giving up. My gut is telling me half marathon for me personally for the Meta Racer, but not giving up. Um, if I had to say the least likely, likely I would take to the marathon distance is probably the Skecher Speed Elite Hyper. Just a little, not quite enough cushion for me for 26.2 miles on the pavement. All right, everyone. I think that's it. Asics Meta Racer, Adidas Boston 9, Skechers Speed Elite Hyper, the Hoka Carbon X, the Nike Next Percent, and the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent. And then we shall see when these shoes, the Endorphin Pro from Saucony, the Adidas Audi Zero Pro, the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite, the Hoka Carbon Rocket, I believe second release coming out soon, and the Brooks Hyperion Elite 2. Question of the day. All right, everyone, here we go. I don't know. Have I asked this before? Hmm, I don't think I have. I don't know if I've asked it exactly like this. What marathon racing shoe are you most excited about in 2020? All right, and what are you planning to purchase? Okay, that's the question of the day because listen, 275 versus $90, eh, there's a difference there. There is a major difference there. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We're going to toss it back to one of these shoes. First impressions. Not sure which one. I'll pick one of them. It'll show up right there. Right there, everybody. You're the best. Have a great race. Have a great race. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.